Lord God, now prepare this place. Lord God, that you will, Lord God, speak to us and speak through us. Lord God, remind us, oh God, just of who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. Amen. Can you give the Lord some prayer? Refer to your bulletins for all of the scriptural references um, that God will do. God is in the business of blessing his children. And I'm so excited about the way in which God has blessed all of us on this day. Today I want to, for your consideration, I want you to think about uncovering the treasure that lies on the inside of you. There is a treasure on the inside of you. We've learned so far that the great things that God will do is God will pour out showers of blessings upon us. And with those showers of blessings, we receive those blessings in our souls. Those blessings come with gifts. And with those blessings, as they begin to flow, they prosper our souls and our souls become like a water garden. Treasure that lies within our earthen vessels. That it is based on the excellency of the power of God. This treasure that you have on the inside of you is a treasure that will keep you from going all the way there to that place of despair. Even though we find that in the Bible, the Bible never tells us that we're not going to have some trouble. We've all been through some trouble. We've all been troubled at some point or time in our lives. But with this treasure that lives on the inside of us, this trouble will not last always. This trouble, hallelujah, will only stay for a little while. But without this treasure, then we find that our trouble will find and turn into distress. Trouble in the he in the Greek means to be under pressure. Well, all of us are under pressure. All of us got stuff going on. But because of what God has put in us, this trouble can't take us all the way there. But if we allowed for ourselves to allow for these things to continue to take us down the path that we have been, uh, been down before in our lives, then we will find ourselves in a place of distress. Distress. Distress means to be crowded in from all sides, where there is no hope of getting out or getting past what we're in. Amen? Have you ever felt like you've just been in a room and the walls are closing and the ceilings are closing in on you? Where it just seems like our lives are placed in a box. Well, that means that you found yourself distressed. And if you have been distressed, and if you are distressed, then just know that you do not have to stay that way. Because there's a treasure in us. There is an excellent power that comes from God in us that can come against any stress, any mess, anything that you find yourself going through. I want you to understand that you've got more in you than what you really know. And if you would just allow for this power to flow in your life, then you won't have to ever worry about being distressed again. You won't ever have to worry about finding yourself in a room where the walls are closing in on you. Instead, you can stand in the face of distress. And you can say, I'm standing on hallelujah holy ground. I'm standing hallelujah in a place where God has watered my soul. And the Bible says that I shall not sorrow anymore at all. 
You don't have to be in sorrow anymore. You don't have to be in stress anymore. Instead, you can stand in the face of it all and say, I've got a treasure in me and the excellency of the power of God that it is more, hallelujah, more powerful than anything else on the face of this earth. Amen? Amen. Whatever your problems are, whatever your situation is, with this treasure, you can overcome whatever is coming over you. Amen? Amen? Or we may find ourselves perplexed. In life, we will be perplexed. Now, perplexed in the Greek means to stand in doubt. Well, yeah, we've all been in doubt about something before. We've all doubted something before. We're not sure how the story is going to play out. So Paul says here that, yeah, you're going to be perplexed from time to time. But with the treasure, the value of the treasure is that you might be perplexed, but you don't have to be in despair. Now, despair in the Greek means to be utterly at a loss. You are just lost and there is no way out. Amen. And so we need to understand that we don't have to feel like that. We don't have to feel like we are utterly at a loss, where there's just no way that we can get where we need to go. Instead, we've got a treasure in us. And with this treasure that's in us, we can stand still and know that God is God. Even in the midst of our doubts, we can stand and look at the Word of God. And know that the word of God tells us to just have faith in him. Amen? Amen. To just have faith in God. And therefore with that faith. We can command thou the mountain to be removed. And cast into the sea. Having no doubt in our hearts. Whereby we can ask anything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that we shall have it. And that he will do it. Amen? What do you need God to do for you? What is it that causes you to be perplexed or to be troubled? Just know whatever it is, you've got a treasure in you that can keep you from going all the way there. You don't have to go all the way there. And we would all be liars if we said we don't go there at all. We do go there, but we don't have to go all the way there. And when we find ourselves going there, then we've got to make a decision as to where we're going to go and how far we're going to go. When you feel yourself going there, just know that there is some things, there are some things that we can do to find our way out of there. There are some things that we can do to get down to the bottom of the well.